Hi there everyone and welcome back to Tom Voyage. So this week we have two pizza ovens with us. This one is powered by gas and this one is powered by electric. In this video we're going to compare the two and see which one is best for cooking a pizza. So in last week's video, we compared two ovens, which were an electric oven versus a wood-fired pizza oven. Now that video brought out some interesting results, and if you'd like to check it out, you can click up here. So in this video, we wanted to do the same idea, but this time comparing gas versus electric. So here we have two pizza ovens. This is an Uni Coda 16, and this is an Uni Volt 12. Now the Coda 16 is a 16 inch pizza oven. It also comes in a Coda 12, which is designed for 12 inch pizzas and the Volt 12, which is just designed for cooking 12 inch pizzas. So to tell you a little bit more about these ovens, the Volt 12 is currently retailing at 799 pounds. It weighs 17.8 kilograms. It has a 12 inch cooking area inside. It's designed for both indoors and outdoor use. And the power output is 1600 watts. Now the Coda 16, you can see it's a little bit wider and it is deeper as well than the Vault. This oven retails at £499 and weighs 18.2 kilograms. It runs 8.49 kilowatts per hour and it runs off a 37 M-bar gas regulator. Now the 12 inch version of this retails at £349. It weighs just nine kilograms and runs at four kilowatt hours. It has the same 37 M bar regulator and obviously is much smaller than this oven you can see here. Now, normally I would have compared the Coda 12 to the Volt 12 as they're both 12 inch ovens, but unfortunately I don't have a Coda 12. So this test is gonna be done with the Coda 16. So in this video, we're going to fire up both of these ovens and test how long it takes them to get to a temperature to cook a pizza. We're then going to cook a pizza on each of these ovens and do a real time cook so you can see it happening. We're then going to do a taste test to see if there's a difference in the taste or the pizza quality that comes out of these ovens. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to get your hands on either of these ovens, you can use the links in the description below. It doesn't cost any more money to buy, but it helps me out with a little bit of commission so we can carry on making these kinds of videos in the future. Okay, let's fire up these ovens. So to light the Coda 16, all you have to do is connect up the gas, push in here and click to light. So to light the Volt 12, you just flick this switch here on the side, come around the front, press the button, makes the noise, and then you turn this middle dial to set the temperature. So we're gonna be cooking a Neapolitan style pizza today. So we're setting both of these ovens to reach a temperature of around 450 degrees. So while these ovens are coming up to temperature, I'm going to talk a little bit about the running costs of both of these ovens. So let's start with the Univolt 12. Now, the Volt 12 is a 1600 watt oven, which means it runs at 1.6 kilowatts. So when thinking about kilowatts per hour, that's 1.6 kilowatts per hour. Now, this will change depending on your region, but we pay currently about 35 pence per kilowatt hour. So the equation is 35p times 1.6 kilowatts hours, which gives us 56p. So that means this oven costs me 56p per hour to run. So now the running costs of the Coda 16 and Coda 12. Now it's recommended to run these ovens off a 13 kilogram propane tank. Now these propane tanks run at 14 kilowatts of energy. So you times 14 by the weight, which would be 14 times 13, which would give us 182 kilowatts of energy in this entire tank. We then divide that number by the power of the oven, which we said before was 8.49 kilowatts. So that would be 182 divided by 8.49, which gives us 21.4 hours of usage out of this tank. That's at full power. Now, currently in the UK, these tanks cost around 50 pounds. So if we do 50 divided by 21.4, that gives us 2.34, which would be two pounds 34 per hour. Now thinking about the Coda 12, it's a smaller oven and that runs at four kilowatts per hour. So we would say 182 divided by four, which gives us 45.5. 50 pounds divided by 45.5 gives a running cost of one pound and nine P per hour. Now I always get a lot of comments in the videos about how expensive gas prices are in the UK. I mean, you're telling me we know it's expensive. Obviously in the US you pay a different price for gas and many of you out there use natural gas. Now it's hard for me to work out those costs but if you use this equation to figure it out you should get a good answer. So the ovens have been running for around 10 minutes now so we'll do a temperature check. The Coda 16 is the one we lit first so we'll test that one first. 
And using our digital thermometer, we can read that that's currently at 370 degrees at the stone. So it's well on its way, but we've still got a little bit of a way to go. Now on the Volt 12, it actually gives you an indicator here of where the current temperature is, and this one's showing 250 degrees. But to make it fair, I'm gonna do the temperature test with the digital thermometer anyway, just to see where that stone temperature is at. So that's shooting currently at 295, so it's not quite as far on as the Coda 16, but it's well on its way. Now before we check the temperature of these ovens again, I wanted to talk a little bit about portability. Now, both of these ovens are designed to be used at home. They're not really classed as travel ovens, but as you can see, the Coda 16 is much larger than the Volt 12. So if you were to travel with it, it's gonna be quite heavy. Now the Coda 12 is a lot smaller, so it would make the obvious choice, but remember, you've still got to take the gas bottle with you. Now looking at the Volt 12, the unit is still quite sizable, but it fits on a kitchen worktop okay. Now the golden thing here is you don't need to take anything else with you. There's no gas bottle, there's no fuel, no wood or anything like that. You can take it with you, plug it in where you're going and be straight away cooking great pizzas. So I actually think I'm gonna use this oven to travel with. Now another thing to consider when comparing gas versus wood is the temperatures of the outside of the oven. Now, because the electric pizza ovens are designed to be used indoors, you can actually put your hand on them and that still remains quite cool. It's because they've got an airflow system inside which keeps it safe for use indoors. Now the gas oven, for example, I can already feel that's really, really hot, so I'm not gonna put my hand on there, but it heats up a lot more on the outside. So the chime has just sounded on the UniVolt 12 to let us know that this oven is now up to temperature. So it's been about 20 minutes, probably less actually, it's been about 18 minutes. Um, so we'll do another temperature check and see where we're at. So in the center of the oven, the Coda 16 is currently at 476 degrees. And the UniVolt is at 425 degrees. So the Coda 16 is heated up to a higher temperature in that time than the Volt 12, but they're both at a decent temperature to be able to cook a pizza. So let's go get our pizzas and we'll get them on and see how these ovens cook. So we're ready, we've got our margarita pizza here. Uh, we're going to use the Coda 16 first. I've actually turned the flame down a little bit just before we started filming because I didn't want the uh, stone to get too hot. So let's go. So you can see there was starting to get a bit of a bubble in the middle, so I'll use my turning peel when I need to. Now the thing I've always liked about the Coda 16 and the cooking on gas is the amount of room you get on there. It's also got that L-shaped gas burner, which means you don't have to turn the pizza as much. The Coda 12 actually only has the um, gas burner at the back, not the side one as well. So we'll give that a quick turn now. You can see we're getting some nice leopard in on the side there. Always a good sign. It smells nice as well. I've had this dough in the fridge for the last couple of days, so it's got a nice ferment on there. So hopefully it should give us a nice bake too. That's one of the advantages of using gas actually, it's very easy to turn it up or down. So just like we did then, if you feel like the stone is getting too hot or you want the toppings cooked more or anything like that, it's very easy to do so. So there we have it. I'll put a timer at the bottom so you can see how long that took, but that is a margarita pizza cooked on the Unicoda 12. And just before we go do the next one, I'll give you a shot of the underneath there. So you can see it's lovely and crispy, some nice color. Very happy with that. So now we're going to do our cook on the Uni Volt 12. So it's the same ingredients on this pizza, it's the same dough, so it's going to make this test as fair as possible. Now with the Uni Volt 12, you've got a nice window on there and a nice door, which helps keep the heat in. 
I've just noticed actually we're getting a bit of an air bubble on there so I am just going to lift that up and let some of the air out just to stop it over inflating. Not sure why that happens really with this one. It tends to get big air bubbles sometimes. Maybe it's something to do with the electricity. So with this being an electric oven, it's not always required that you turn the pizza, but I tend to find that it cooks quicker at the back than it does at the front. So in this case, I am going to turn it. There is a timer on this oven as well, so I'm not using it today, but it does make it very easy to uh, cook a pizza, so you can just set your timer, especially if you're doing something like a Detroit style pizza, which takes like 15, 20 minutes. You can do that in this style oven as well. Whereas on the gas style oven, that'd be quite hard to do just because of the amount of heat that gas puts out. So the cheese is starting to bubble on the top. So we'll give it another turn. So I'm getting some nice color on there now. Another thing the electric oven has over the gas is a boost mode. So if after a few pizzas, you start to lose heat in the stone on the gas one, you've just got to wait for it to heat back up. Whereas on here, you've got this mode, which boosts the temperature on the stone in just 45 seconds and helps give you some heat in that stone. So there's our Neapolitan style pizza cooked on the Uni Volt 12. You can see it's a bit burned here in the middle where we got that bubble. Obviously it's closer to the heating element. And just to show you the underneath of this one, again, some nice color on there too. So we're going to take these across to the table. We'll cut into them and see the difference in the taste. So here are our two pizzas. This one at the front is the one that was cooked using gas. And this one at the back is the one that was cooked using electricity. Now, just as a overview, you can tell this one's got a darker color. It's a little bit more crispy on the crust as well. Whereas this one's a bit paler. I tend to like my pizzas a bit more well done than this. So there's the base of the one cooked on gas and a closer look at the base of the one cooked on electric. So let's first test the one that was cooked on the gas. We'll pick this piece because it's got a nice crispy crust, nice underneath. Yeah, so that's a very nice bake on there. It's good and crispy, there's lots of color and the toppings are nice and cooked as well. So now we'll try the pizza that was cooked on the electric oven. So right away I can tell that that's a softer dough Seems like it's gonna be a bit more chewy. Still great tasting pizza. It doesn't have that kind of charred effect that this one does, which gives it a nice kind of crispy crust. But remember, because you can make the alterations on either the top heating element or the bottom heating element, you can adjust that so you can fully control this pizza, making sure that next time the heating element above is more hot, so it gives a more crispier crust on the top. So I hope you enjoyed that comparison video, cooking pizzas on gas and on electric. So to summarize, both pizzas that came out of these ovens tasted really, really good. The gas oven, it's cheaper to buy, but overall the cost of gas itself is more expensive if you're in the UK. It's nice and easy to light, but the controls are limited, giving you the options to only have the gas on high or low. Also remember that gas powered ovens are only to be used outdoors. Now looking at the electric pizza oven, it's a more expensive oven, but those controls on the front give you way more control over the top element and the bottom element when cooking a pizza. This also means that you can regulate the temperature down to 150 degrees or 200 degrees, giving you the option to cook things like grandma pizza, Detroit style pizza or New York style pizza. The oven itself is more expensive, but the cost of running it is lower than the gas. And of course, remember the advantage of the electric powered pizza oven is it can be used both indoors and outdoors. So if you want to get your hands on either of these ovens yourself, please use the links in the description. As we said before, it doesn't cost any money, but it helps me out with a bit of commission so we can carry on making these kinds of videos. If you've got any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. 
Thank you very much and we'll see you next time for more pizza making videos.